Hey, what's up guys? This is Melo from Nearby Screen Printing and this tutorial I'm going to show you guys what's easier way for me to get very opaque transparencies. I remember starting off, I used to have a lot of trouble trying to get these transparencies very opaque and dark. Um, ever since I made them darker, I've been getting better results. It's easier, you know. And uh, okay, so for example, uh, this is a, a inkjet waterproof transparency uh, by writing it. Uh, the one on the left, you can sure not tell, it's a little bit lighter than the one on the right. The one on the left has a K of 100. The one on the right has a C of 75, M68, Y67, and K90. Uh, the reason for that is because you actually need all those colors to, uh, to give a very ultimate black. That's very important because you want to make sure it's, it's really dark so no light could go through. And, um... You know, if the light goes through your, your design, it just makes it harder to expose, uh, throws you off on your exposure time, and all, you know, all those problems. So, uh, you just want to make sure you, you want to get the, the, the right CMYK. Uh, just because you do this, it doesn't mean you're going to get uh, perfect results. You still want to make sure you uh, fix the settings on your printer. Uh, Epson, this, okay, this was printed in Epson 1440. They're highly recommended. Uh, go to Staples. You can buy it for three hundred dollars. You know, if you don't have three hundred dollars, you could email me. I can help you guys out for a small fee. I could bring you guys screens. You know, I'm here to help, guys. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And thank.